Hi guys, welcome to my channel. On Wednesday, it was my one month on YouTube, which is crazy that I've been making videos for a month. It's been so lovely to have a hobby to get into and something to focus on. So yeah, it's going great. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a few looks. I'm gonna try um, some that I was suggested to try and then I'm gonna just do another one because I found it on Instagram and I thought it was so pretty. So I'm gonna do that one first. Um, I'm probably gonna film this over a couple of days, so if I change outfit or if the lighting changes because it's um, getting darker now. So if it changes when I do it tomorrow, then that's why. The first look I'm gonna do is this. I just think it's like such a beautiful look. It's a Princess Jasmine inspired look. So I love that, I just think that's so stunning. But yeah, I just thought it would be a really pretty one. I could use a, like, a mix of my palettes and try and get that gorgeous gold that she's got in the center of the lid. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start that one. Firstly, I'm gonna prime my face with the Revolution Pro Matte Primer. Then with the Revolution Pro New Neutral Palette and the shade Whisper, I'm just gonna apply that over my crease into the corner of my eye. Not too heavy in the corner because this is mainly a transition color and a background color for the rest of the look. Then with my Kami X and Revolution Palette and the shade Dark Side, I'm just gonna do a really pointed corner of the lid there just going into the crease at the top slightly. Then going back to the new neutral palette and taking the shade Rumor, I'm just gonna put that inside the black up to where that ends. Then with the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, I'm just gonna put that on the lid where I haven't done the makeup yet, just so that there's a good base for the rest of it. Then going back to the Calm X palette, I'm gonna take the shade Money Maker and just put that in the center of my lid. I'm also gonna take that part way underneath my lower lash line as well. Then with the Beauty Bay and EYN Bright 42 color palette, I'm gonna take a mix of Daydream and Paradise and put that in the corner of the upper lid, also going down to the corner of the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go over everything, make sure that it's all defined and blended together. And then taking the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna take my Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation and just apply that all over my face. Then with my Revolution Pro Conceal and Define Concealer, I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes, on my nose, and anywhere that I'm patchy, blotchy, or broken out. And with the Jeffree Star Loose Setting Powder, I'm gonna put a little bit where I've just concealed, just to bake for a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna take the Revolution Sculpting Bronzer and whilst I'm waiting for the powder to set, anywhere that I'm gonna bronze and highlight, I will do that. I'm applying the bronzer very subtly on my cheekbones and also on my forehead up to my hairline. And the highlight that I'll be using is the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. My highlight palette is the one in the shade Ice and I'll be using the pink from that. Then I work in the powder anywhere that I haven't bronzed and highlighted and then I also take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and apply that over the top as well. My lipstick is the Gerald Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick and then just before I move on with my eyeliner and false lashes I'm just going to go over the eye look and make sure I'm happy with everything. My eyeliner is the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner, I'm just going to apply that on my lid and I'm also going to go over the black that I did earlier just to really make that stand out from the other colors. Then with my Wet n Wild Mega Protein Waterproof Mascara, I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my eyelashes. My lashes are the Seven Deadly Sins Lashes in Greed, and the adhesive glue is the Lily Lashes Adhesive Glue, which is the clear one. Now it's time to set everything, so I start by setting my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, and I use the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray to set my face. And here's the finished look. Um, we have lost sunlight drastically. <laughs> I think it's really, really lovely. I love how the blue and the gold like work really well together and also how the top um, colour works with the lips. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out just for like a last minute random look that I decided to film. So yeah, I think it's great. So the next look I'm going to be going for is this one. A friend of mine suggested it and I just think it's so beautiful, all the different colours together. And I also thought it'd be a good one because I want to try my new um, like purpley pink lipstick and I thought this one would match. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one. So I'm going to start by priming my face again with the Revolution Pro Matte Primer. And then taking the EYN Bright Matte Palette again, I'm going to take the shade Oasis and put that over the crease of my eye. Then going to take the shade Illicit and put that underneath the green that I've just done 
more on the crease of my eye into the corner. Then taking the Revolution Pro cut crease, I'm just going to prime my eye ready for the rest of the look. Then I'm going to take the shade Sugar Plum and just put that on one third of my eye. Next with Hot Stuff I'm going to put that in the centre of my lid. And then in the corner I'm going to put Sweet Escape. Underneath the eye I'm going to do Hot Stuff first and then underneath that I'm going to do Sweet Escape. And before I move on I'm just going to blend everything in, make sure that it all matches up nicely. For my eyebrows I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and take the spoolie and brush up my eyebrows and then fill in the rest of it. My foundation is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation so I'm just going to put a bit of that on a beauty blender and then put that all over my face. And with the Revolution Pro Conceal and Define Concealer I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, on my nose, around my eyebrows and anywhere that I'm blotchy, patchy or broken out. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Jeffree Star Loose Setting Powder and just put that everywhere that I've just concealed and also anywhere that I get particularly oily. And whilst I wait for that to set for a couple of minutes, I tend to go over the eye look just to make sure that I'm happy with all the colours and blend in if need be and define anything if I have to. Then I work in the powder that I put on and then taking the Rimmel Stay Matte powder, I put that over it as well. I then take the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer and put that on my cheekbones, the temples and also around my hairline on my forehead. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Palette in Blossom Glow and just put that on the apples of my cheeks and my nose. I then tend to go over with a little bit of powder. My lipstick is the Revolution Pro Satin Matte Lipstick in Struck and I'm going to do a winged eyeliner look with the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner. Taking a bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Waterproof Mascara, I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyes and then I'm going to apply my false lashes. I don't actually know which ones these are because I've not got the box for them, but yeah, they're just some thick eyelashes. And then just to finish, I put a little bit of mascara on just to connect my false lashes and my real lashes. Then I'm going to set everything. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set my eyebrows and the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray for the rest of my face. And here's the finished look. Um, I just went over at the end with um, the cut crease canvas just over the top because um, I felt like it was a bit dark and I think it looks a lot better like this, a little bit lighter. Um, I did kind of nearly give up halfway through because as much as I love the Beauty Bay palette, it's really hard to blend. Um, but I think it worked out really well. I think that the colours on the lid complement the lip colour perfectly. So I'm really pleased I got to use this lip colour for a look. And yeah, I'm really pleased with it. For my next look, I'm going to do something that was suggested, which I think is such a cute idea. It's a Little Women um, inspired look. I think I'm going to go for more of an Amy look. She's the one who is the most interested in living the traditional lifestyle of just getting married and having children. So I'm going to do the look inspired by her. I think I'm going to try and do my hair um, just like front bits back. I don't think I'm going to do much. One thing which I'm very excited about is I ordered some new foundation and that's just arrived. It's the Zoeva Authentic Skin. Uh, it's a buildable one, which I thought would be good because I want to have a buildable one for when I want to do more natural looks because the Jouer Essential one is great, but it's obviously very high coverage. So sometimes I don't want a high coverage. I just want a little bit on just to like, you know, balance out my skin and make it all one color. So I'm just going to open that and we'll have a look at that before we start the look. So here it is. I think that's really pretty. I went for the shade um, A Glow, which was like the lightest shade. So yeah, let's have a look at how it comes out. Ooh, that's nice. Well, it's not very runny, which is great because the Jouer one gets a little bit runny sometimes. So what I'm going to do, just because that's already on my hand, I'm going to do my foundation first. Normally I do the rest of my look first, but I'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation because it's already there. And there we go. I really like that. It feels very like smooth on my skin. It doesn't feel really heavy, um, but it also, I think, covers really well, but I, it's a great buildable one. I could probably get away with using less than I had on my hand, which is great. So then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, I'm going to get on with the rest of my look. I'm going to do a really natural eyebrow look if I can. So I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows and then rather than outlining it, I'm just going to do natural hairline strokes and build that up. Then with my Revolution Pro New Neutral Palette in the shade Based, I'm going to take that on my finger as it's quite a creamy colour 
and just put that all over the lid and the, underneath my eyebrows. Next I'm going to take the shade Magic and put that all over my lid. And then I'm going to take Glamour underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and put that all over my face. I want this to be as natural a look as possible but I also wanted to, to get my skin as clear as possible too. And I really want that nice soft pink cheek look so I've just put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. And with the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlight and the pink one in that, I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on. I wasn't sure whether to but I thought it would just make everything kind of pop a bit. For my lips I'm going to take a mix, I'm going to do the Revolution Pro Supreme Lipstick in the shade Domineer and then I'm also going to do the Revolution Pro Luster Diamond Lipstick in the shade Fascinator. I really wanted a nice pink lip so I thought mixing those two would get that. And I'm then going to put a little bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Waterproof Mascara on my eyelashes. I'm then going to take the shade Neutral and just blend out the top of my eyebrow look before I move on with my false lashes and I also decided that I wanted more of a pink look on the lids so I've just taken Karma and put a little bit of that over the lid. The lashes I'm going to use are the Revolution Natural Lashes in Barely There. I'm going to take that with a little bit of the Lily Lashes Adhesive Glue and just apply those. I did want to have you know some really lovely long lashes but I wanted them to be natural as well because I want this to be a nice natural look. And then just to finish, I'm going to go back over my eyebrows a bit, just try and fill them in naturally again, trying my best not to overdo it and make them too filled in and just doing some more natural hairline strokes. And this is my finished look. Um, I just tied my hair back, like just kind of rolled it and then put it in a bun. I, for some reason, I've seen like Little Women and I've got the book, but I've never actually read it. <laughs> And I thought Amy was the oldest, just based on the fact that she was like very traditional thinking. I assumed that she would have been kind of pushed in that direction to be one of the first, the first to get married. Um, but she's not, she's the youngest. So that surprised me. In the like adaptations of the book, she always has her hair up very prim and proper. But yeah, I just kind of kept it quite natural, but also a little bit of color on the cheeks. Um, tried to do my eyebrows as natural as possible and then just kind of like a pink lip, pink um, eyelids, and then some natural lashes. But yeah, I'm really pleased. And actually, to be honest, with my hair just down as normal, I'd probably wear this look out more. But yeah, it was great. Next, I'm gonna do a 60s look. This one was suggested to me as well. And I think it's like, I was gonna do obviously my 60s to 90s video, which I still will, but I think it'd be fun to try a 60s look. And there's obviously quite a few different looks from the 60s. There's like the Twiggy with the really big eyes and the long eyelashes. But I think I'm gonna go for more of like a Priscilla Presley. Um, Amy Winehouse had her own spin on it. Lana Del Rey is obviously very into that kind of look. Just with the big, like smoky eyes, the big lashes, the very like cat eye, beehive, nude lip. I'm just gonna go for that. So yeah, I'm gonna start that one. So firstly, I'm just gonna prime my face with the Revolution Pro Matte Primer. Then with the shade Majestic from my new neutral palette, I'm just going to put that on the crease of my eye and into the corner. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas on my lid. And then with the shade For Real, I'm going to put that all over my lid. And underneath my eye, I'm going to do the shade Glamour. Then over the top of Majestic, I'm going to take the shade Whisper just to make that match a bit more with the lid colour. And mainly because I just want to see what it looks like, I'm going to take Golden and tap that very gently over the eyelid. And next I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to be doing that really exaggerated cat eye look. So I'm just going to sweep it up in a diagonal line and then just fill it in at the bottom in the corner of the eyelid. I'm then going to take the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade and just put that on my eyebrows. I want this to be a really dark, thick eyebrow look. So I'm going to take that. I'm not really going to try and make it a natural look at all. I'm just going to outline and fill in my eyebrows with that. Then I'm going to take the Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation and just apply that all over my face. And I'm then going to apply the Jeffree Star Loose Setting Powder just in the places that I get a bit oily on my face and let that bake for a couple of minutes. And then I'm just going to go back over the eyeliner just to really make sure that that's going to stay and stand out. I'm then going to take the Wet n Wild Mascara and put that on my lashes, mainly focusing on the bottom lashes because I want those to be nice and thick and long. And then I'm going to take the false lashes, the ones I'm using are the Seven Deadly Sins ones in Greed and apply those. I'm then going to work in the Jeffree Star setting powder just all over my face. I'm then just going to go over and neaten my eyebrows, thicken those up a bit. 
Then I'm going to take the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick and I decided at the end just to put a little bit of bronzer on. This is my finished 60s look. Uh, this is by far my favourite look I think I've ever done. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but definitely this video, this is my favourite look. I just think like even with the really exaggerated eyeliner, I think with the colours it really works. So yeah, I'm very proud of this look to be honest. I just chucked my hair into like a little beehive. It's not like a proper beehive because my hair needs a wash. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a really pretty look. I think the 60s was such a interesting time and there was like so much you can do with the 60s look because there's the polar opposites. I feel like Amy Winehouse, the way she used to do her makeup, like the massive uh, black eyes and the really messy beehive. Then there's Lana Del Rey, who's a li little bit more like um, Priscilla Presley, where it's more toned down and neat and a lot softer. So yeah, I think it's like a really good look to try and do because you can kind of just make it your own and mix it up. But yeah, I'm happy with this look and I've got one more look to do, so I will be back in a sec. And finally, I'm gonna do one last look. I had it suggested to do a look based on my favorite film or like song or whatever. And I decided to do one from my favorite film. My favorite film of all time, because I am a child, is Peter Pan. <laughs> I love it so much. And I was gonna try and do a Peter Pan one, but then I was like, how? And then I was gonna try and do a Wendy one. And I was like, that's basically the little women look. So I'm gonna go for a Tinkerbell look. It's gonna be very similar to my first video that I posted. So we come full circle, uh, just lots of greens. I'm probably gonna do like the inner corner green and then in the center, like a sparkly yellow, lots of highlight just to really bring out like the button of my nose and then just like a nude lip. But I'm kind of just gonna go with it and hopefully it will turn out well. For the last time this video, you won't have to see it again. I'm gonna prime my face. I'm then going to take the shade Granny Smith from my Beauty Bay and EYN Bright Matte Palette and use that as my base and transition colour on my lid. Then with the shade Frosted Lime, I'm going to put that on the inner corner and the outer corner of my lid, leaving the middle part free. I'm then going to take the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and put that on my lid where I'm going to do another colour and also around the top of my eye just to kind of lighten that. Then I'm going to take Labyrinth and work that over the crease of my eye. I want this to be a really soft textured look so I'm going to be blending lots of different greens together. Then I'm going to take Rise and Shine and work that over the centre of the lid. I want this to be a really lovely sparkly look as well just to kind of bring out the pixie dust look of a Tinkerbell look. Then with my Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation I'm just going to put that all over my face. Then to prep my skin for the highlight that I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and work that all over my face. Underneath my eye, I'm going to take Frosted Lime first and then Labyrinth. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And then just going to work in the foundation just a little bit more. And then I am going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlight Palette and I'm going to take the blue from that one. I think that's incredible. Once it's on, I didn't realise quite how shiny that was but I'm really really pleased with how that looks on the skin. For my lipstick, I'm going to take the Revolution Pro Supreme Lipstick in the shade Domineer and I'm then just going to take a little bit of mascara just before I apply my false lashes. I also decided after this that I was just going to do a little bit of eyeliner just where the false lashes sit just to kind of blend that into the eye look. And this is the finished look. Obviously I just put my hair up in a bun before I started and I've just kind of swept my fringe to the side. I was going to try and do like the faux bang thing when you put your hair in a ponytail and then bring it forward because of the little jaggedy fringe she's got but my hair isn't long enough and then my fringe is too short is too long to do that look and then I was thinking oh should I cut my fringe and then I was like no that's too much dedication <laughs> um but yeah I think it's really nice it is very similar to the look I did in my first video a month ago but I think that like the highlight is popping particularly that one my word I think it's you know a nice simple look it's something that you could do if you're going to like a I don't know doing like a Halloween party or something. I don't know what people dress up for these days. <laughs> a fancy dress if you wanted to, but I also think it could be, you know, just a nice everyday look, to be honest. It's like a very summery look. So yeah, I'm happy with it. 
So that brings the video to an end. It's been a mega one. It's taken me a while to film, but it's been really fun. And I just wanna say thanks so much for subscribing and watching my videos for the past month. I've had so much fun and I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I can. Obviously when lockdown ends and everything goes back to normal, who knows whether our schedules and routines will change. But yeah, it's been loads of fun and I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you on Monday.